holding the office for 28 years, Carmel Mayor Jim Brainerd gave his final State of the City address tonight. And only CBS 4's Michael Van Skoyk attended that event where he spoke to Carmel residents about how they'll remember his time in office. Well, tonight, Mayor Jim Brainerd spoke to a crowd of hundreds of people here at the Palladium looking back at his 28 years of service. Thank you. It was a night filled with applause and laughter as Mayor Jim Brainerd reflected on citywide growth, ranging from infrastructure to the arts. As I stand here this evening on this grand stage in this beautiful concert hall, I am completely humbled by your love and support. A series of guests took to the stage Monday night to ask Brainerd about his career. He feels among his crowning achievements is how he transformed a small, quiet town into a vibrant and booming city. People wanted a downtown. They wanted a center. They wanted a place when they had out-of-town guests, relatives, go out for a show and dinner. And over time, that happened as Carmel's Arts and Design District and City Center took shape bringing people in. I actually moved to this city because of the progressive nature uh, and the build out. It was something I really wanted to be a part of. We were aware of what Carmel was doing and how it developed. And uh, when we looked into it further, it was, uh, it was a perfect fit. Many living in the area attribute that growth to the longtime mayor. Reshaping local transportation was another major accomplishment, especially the notorious Carmel roundabouts. A two lane road costs $12 million. If you don't have to add extra lanes to that road, the taxpayers are saving a lot of money because the roundabouts move so many more cars more safely per hour. Brainerd received many awards Monday night, and the city also surprised him by unveiling a portrait that will soon hang inside City Hall, remembering his years of dedication. Brainerd wished Mayor-elect Sue Finkham the best of luck during her term. He and those in the crowd also say they look forward to what's yet to come. In Carmel, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. Michael, thank you. Brainerd also received a special visit from former Governor Mitch Daniels, as you saw tonight, who presented him with one of the state's highest honors, the Sagamore of the Wabash. Now